Coming up, rare outdoor photos of Bruce Lee on the set of The Game of Death in the New Territories, 1972. Question, does outdoor footage also exist of Bruce Lee during that time? All this and more coming up. Hey guys, Charles Damiano here from the Bruce Lee Collection and today I'll be sharing with you some rare outdoor photos of Bruce Lee on the set of The Game of Death in the New Territories in Hong Kong back from 1972. And as I began thumbing through all the photos that I wanted to include in this episode for you guys to enjoy, I began asking myself a bunch of questions because we know that there was footage shot of Danny Nasanto, some great test footage that we've seen on the Arrow box set. We also know there was test footage shot of Jihan J uh, that we've seen on the Arrow box set. And we also seen test footage of Juan in Sec, supposedly the Taekwondo kicking master that was supposed to be the guard of the first floor but the questions that dawned on me was where was all the test footage of Bruce Lee how come no film was shot on Bruce Lee during that time we've seen photos and I'm gonna show you photos of Bruce Lee in his black jeans shirtless spinning the nunchucks in succession how come only photos were taken of that and not film we also seen Bruce Lee filming some fight scenes with four karate men. He's in the middle of it, in a suit, demonstrating some techniques. Also in succession, these photos are, how come there was no one taking footage of Bruce Lee during that time? Or was there footage that was shot and we just haven't seen it? What's your opinion on that? Leave it in the comments, I would love to hear from you. Also, my question was, what were they gonna use this test footage for? We have some great footage of Danny and Santos, Jihan Che, Juan and Sec, but what was supposed to happen with the footage? Were they actually filming footage that was gonna be included in the game of death? Were they doing the footage simply for test angles and seeing how fight scenes were gonna be looking on film? I think we're never really gonna know. From all the research I've done, it sounds like this was never written into the Game of Death script that Bruce Lee had put together at that time. So these are all unanswered questions, but I could say one thing, what an amazing film this would have been if Bruce Lee would have completed it. Because from the photos and test footage that we have seen, so far it's simply amazing. What we do know of the game of death and this outdoor footage is what John Little shared with us when he put together a warrior's journey uh, back in the 90s. We know that the outdoor footage that was going to be shot was Bruce Lee leaving the car as they were entering the pagoda with his bodyguards. And at the entrance to the pagoda, supposedly there's 25 karate men guarding the pagoda led by Bolo who was in Enter the Dragon, protecting the entrance to the pagoda. And Bruce Lee and his bodyguards were supposed to fight through these 25 karate men and Bolo. Now we can only imagine what that fight would have looked like. It would have been an epic, epic battle. Who wouldn't have liked seeing Bruce Lee battle with Bolo and 25 karate guys even before entering the pagoda, only to be met by Juan in Sec on the first floor of the pagoda. What a brilliant concept Bruce Lee came up with at that time. Fighting through five floors, each floor depicting a different style that he would have to use his JKD against, showing you how his JKD would adapt to each situation that he encountered during that time. Man, I, I could only imagine, and every time I imagine what could have been, I just get excited uh, to see this. Hopefully one day, with AI technology, we get to see what the game of death really would have been like if Bruce Lee had completed it. Wouldn't you love to see that? Leave it in the comments. But for now, sit back and enjoy these beautiful photos that I put together to some dramatic and inspiring music. And let's all imagine at the same time what could have been of the game of death. Enjoy, guys.
Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed those series of photos that I put together of Bruce Lee in the outdoors on the set of The Game of Death in the New Territories from 1972. If you did, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and please make sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss an episode. And until next time, as always, Charles Damiano saying, have fun collecting and we'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys.